And I made myself a Detroit style pizza. It's a thing of beauty. I'm not going to eat the whole damn thing right now. I'll have some of it for lunch tomorrow, you know. Well, I'll definitely eat a piece right now. As you can see, the sauce goes on the top. Yeah. And the grandparents live in rural areas. And that's that's what happened with Keith. And it's it's not clear from the clippings exactly what happened, other than he was there and was in the yard and it's disappeared. Got ham and it's and onion on it. missing. The grandfather knew the area. It's got mozzarella, well, et cetera, a little bit of cheddar mixed in. According to search and rest, you know, that goes on top of the crust. And you got the ham and onions. You put your tomato sauce on last on the top there. Well, uh, an April 10th, 1952 article in the Daily really stated that the boy was found over a dozen miles away from delicious, the grandparents' home 19 delicious. hours after he disappeared. And he was found unconscious laying in a creek bed. Got some sauce on my shirt. Okay, so that's a little mm. odd. So, uh, he had to go over two mountain ranges, fences, creeks, rivers. And this guy's I got here a Labatt's blue light line. And you found 12 miles I'm going to drink that, Mother. Now, think about this for a second and say, okay, even under the best conditions, could you and I go 12 miles through the mountains in 19 hours? I don't know. I yes. don't think I could. I'm pretty darn sure I could not. <laughs> and this little boy... Uh... Yeah, it's good. What kind of footprints of things you can get on rock? In general. 